Yo, what's up fam? What you can do if you are not motivated to go to the gym like I am right now because I still need to eat my workout and I haven't done it and I'm bro literally I told myself more than 100 times now today that just take a rest day like this can be your rest you don't need to go just leave it for tomorrow please bro literally my brain is begging me not to go to the gym i'm not even going to the gym because i moved from school from the navy school to my parents home i'm gonna pack some things and then leave and here i don't have a gym i will go to the park after this video but i constantly hearing just don't go just leave it for tomorrow i I'm, I feel fucking tired. I had a nap in the afternoon and I literally have zero energy to go. And I already try to, bro, because you need to understand that you are not your brain. You are not your thoughts. And you have two, type of, two types of thoughts. The ones that came from who knows where, like they just came like, you are not thinking about anything. and they just seems like clouds coming in and they for me it was like bro just take a rest day you work out yesterday you eat legs and the other day was a rest day so i can't have a rest day today so i will eat my workout but i keep hearing these thoughts of just chill today don't go because your brain is fucking pussy literally he doesn't like challenge he doesn't like discomforts so he prefers to stay here on my couch chill out you don't need to because it's just the this initial momentum this resistance of going to eat your lifts that is art because when i have my things when i leave my home when i uh, when i arrive to the park my energy will go up like i i will go by walking so when i get there i'm already w warming up i'm putting some uh, music and i'm already hyped to start but this resistance this this first step of leaving home are already delaying my mind for like hours it's supposed to be after lunch now i and now i take a nap and now it's and now I'm recording this video because exactly that, because I didn't have motivation to do my lift today. And why is that? It's because your brain is fucking, bro, it's, <laughs> he doesn't like discomfort and he will do everything he can to stay chill, stay in the position of real eggs because he doesn't like stress. He, he just sees the world like, zeros and ones and stay at home it's way easier to eat your workout it, but the thing is that i know how i feel when i start working out i know that right now i don't feel that i want to go for a workout i don't want to do nothing with my life and that's really one thing that you should remember is when your day is a little bit going not in the best possible way like you're feeling down unmotivated like even depressed when you do something hard it it will be so fucking difficult to do that thing but if i eat my workout after that after i eat my workout I, I will feel like a fucking superman i will feel so fucking good because i didn't want to go i wasn't motivated to go but i went it i went anyways and when I finish, I will feel so bad about myself. I will feel proud and my body will feel literally good. Like not only my mind, but everything will feel awesome. That's the reason why I'm going to eat that workout. But if your day is not going in the right way and you're feeling a little bit down, if you do one thing more difficult than you used to, like if you put yourself in, into the discomfort just a little bit you can be like a, a cold shower you can you can go for a run you can 
help your mom with groceries. That's not the most difficult challenge, but because your brain, you are on the couch and you don't leave, you don't want to leave the couch. You don't even have motivation to do one single thing. You just want to eat and just stay relax. But if you go there and do something, you will elevate your mood, elevate your energy and be back in the right track again because your brain is fucking you can trust your brain like these random thoughts and i was saying that you have two types of thoughts because you can think uh, intentionally i can like close my eyes and think i'm gonna go do this i'm gonna i'm planning something i'm but the rest of your thoughts that you have <laughs> all day like we have literally between like 6,000 and 80,000 thoughts per day. And most of them, if you notice, if you write down someday, like all your thoughts that you're having, most of them are negative and repetitive, repetitively, uh, repeat. Bro, are the same thoughts. It's all, for me today was about the workout. I don't want to work out, fuck the workout. I don't want to go like, Today is uh, like it's it, the weather is shit. It's raining and I don't want to do anything. Like yeah, just. But you can change your thoughts, and by acknowledge them and write them down, you you see patterns and you see what you are, what your brain is, is trying to say you something, and you can be and by doing something about it, you can turn your day. That's exactly what I'm doing now. I, I didn't have energy, but right now I'm pumped as fuck. I want to close the camera and go run to my workout because I know after 10 minutes there how, how I will feel and after even better. And after when I came home and take a shower, I'm not going into the couch again or I'm not going like depressed or I'm not going being down again because bro you you climb to here it's way easier to stay there and just keep the momentum and do more productive stuff go do something after because you already did the the hardest stuff so yeah that's it for today i didn't record the video in a while but hope you like and subscribe bye